But God was not happy. All of a sudden, he was not happy. Do you know he was not happy? When you say happy, he was not happy. Everybody thinks about Noah's time. God was not happy, then he wanted to destroy. No. When he created Adam, he was not very happy. What is this fellow trying to say? He was not very happy that he's alone. I'm not telling he was not happy looking at his face. No. All the Adams happy? Yes. All the Eves happy? Yes. Hallelujah. Serpent, be outside. A garden. Okay, you see, the Lord says, it's not good for this man to be alone. Then, he created somebody so that they be happy. And he won't feel lonely. See, it's one thing to be alone. Now listen carefully. This is another big problem. People think they don't want to be alone, they get married, then they feel more lonely. <laughs> it, it, it's a joke sort of a thing, but it's the truth. Huh? The fellow comes home, he feels more lonely, he's outside happy. Huh? But these all people don't talk. Somebody like this fellow will want to talk. But the truth is, no, loneliness, it's not because you're alone or with people. Huh? Sometimes you can be with a crowd of people, feel very lonely. You know, children say very lonely. People in the youth will feel lonely. Somewhere you go, you don't have friends, you're lonely. Sometimes you go to a country, everybody different, you feel lonely. I've been in a flight, everybody look different. I look very beautiful, but they're not so beautiful. So many things can make you feel. Are you with me? And here you see, eh, one of the greatest things throughout the Bible is right from the beginning to the end, it's all about relationship. If your relationship is messed up, you'll feel lonely. Do you agree with me or not? Hmm? You go to a school, just imagine you're a school student for some time, okay? You're going to school and you're so happy, happy, happy playing everything. Then you fight with somebody and one, four, or three, or all of them join together. Tomorrow when you go to the school again, what is your feeling? Not like yesterday. Nobody wants to be your friend. All these kinds, sorry, all these things that what happens, you know, in our life uh, brings loneliness. And that's why I feel God is a God. He wants to have a relationship. He came down. Every day, not once in a month. Every day, in the best part of the day, he came and he walked with them. And what did he do? He did Bible study like your cell group? No. A cell group you must do, not gossip, okay? But here, it's a different story. He came and he had fellowship. Look at, look at the beautiful things all hidden in Genesis itself. I want to just share three things. And I want to talk today about this loneliness matter and relationship. That's all. What? You will see in Genesis. There's a beautiful Bible verse I want you to see. Verse 2. Genesis chapter 2. Chapter 2 verse 24. Genesis chapter 2 verse 24. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Are you with me? They are one anyway. Huh? You take all your wife's makan and eat also, no problem. No, anyway, we are two one. Now, it's a serious Bible verse. People become very serious to think about that. But this is a verse that people have gone into extreme. And you will see what I've learned in my own life. Huh? So many things I don't know. Because I was the only child, only son, only child. And nothing to learn from sisters, brothers. So once when I was there, I had a preacher friend. And I didn't know how to handle it. My wife was pregnant. 
and the doctors were telling you do this you do that you abort the child for your own good one gospel she's preaching to me christian i was so confused i didn't know what to do so i called my friend i said my friend i don't know what to do and i don't have brothers sisters nobody to take counsel you know what answer he gave fantastic he says even adam didn't have brothers and sisters no pity party i like people like that he says even adam never had he handled it no you go handle go go to the lord mm fantastic right yes so by looking into the word only you learn everything you don't learn from anybody else but the word is good enough and here he says a man shall get married and what does it say he shall leave us and then ha huh, this translation i give my translation you leave then you cleave cleave to your okay same now here what i'm trying to say is now listen my friends for many 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 years you know we've been living with our parents a child comes from the very body the very bones of the mother contribute sometimes mothers also become weak all the strength go and the baby is formed and the baby is taken from the mother's body from the belly from the womb and they both never called as one from somewhere one guy comes all of a sudden into your life huh somewhere you are in care maybe from sunga patani or somewhere somewhere you didn't even see him suddenly or the lady comes you join and god says you are one how are cannot understand huh? but this is something sacred this is something very nice i'm starting with this you know why the whole problem of loneliness start here with many people in marriage all over the world the name marriage is also losing its respect this is why live together just be there you don't like you go so that at least you don't rob my property ah huh? uh, be like that some people want to become rich 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 just marry 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 take everybody 30% 40% 50% 200% la praise the lord la ah smart ah marriage is a nice uh, business ah ah you don't need to study much ah you know how to handle finish oh. that is what the world is going but we go back to the truth go back to the bible ah and it's so beautiful how the lord says and i just want to share let's not go into extremes what happens is sometimes you know when people get excited married they take this verse and they discard the mummy daddy also ah, because the bible says leave no so they thought left forever ha ah, that is not the leave ah. you apply leave in your office ah, but you go back la my friend you don't leave off ah. come on please ah to follow permanent leave ah. no 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 that is wrong that's that's a semantic perversion somewhere the meaning has been distorted that is not what it meant ah. god is because you know why one day you're going to be a parent ah. the fellow will throw you long back then at least you forget your mama at 40 years and the fellow will forget in 20 years itself what you sow you'll reap no 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 when you build build properly because tomorrow with interest and compound interest you will get it back true or no yes but when you get married to the new wife a very exciting that scripture will leave all tension poking nose uh, all this thing are uh, very happy and uh, discard and throw no that's talking about privacy talking about liberty so many things but not throwing away, away from our life uh, no you can't afford to do that it's almost like plucking your eyes off cannot another extremist that is what is happening in many people 
the woman has never become one in their life at all. Sometimes business families, they just use her as a piece of furniture. The woman don't know the finance, the woman don't know the whereabouts, it's almost like Jesus said, behold, I'm coming soon. When he's coming, nobody knows. My husband also like that. Uh, no, no. Ah, always on the edge. No. The transparency is not there. The one, they always feel, she's a third person come into our home. See, this is the language. She's not the third person. Hello, madam. She's one. Even the mother is not one. That's why in Peter it says, honor your wife. So that she is the co heir with the grace of God. If you don't do that, your prayers will be hindered. Ladies and gentlemen, your prayers will not even go out beyond the ceiling if you are not careful about certain things. Why? Because how we treat others. And especially, you see how the Lord gave Himself for His own church like that. Uh, the relationship. It's not for convenience. People have messed up. Their fathers have messed up. They've seen the grandfathers have mistress here. China one, Taiwan one, uh, Penang one, uh, here one, Bangkok one, uh, Bali one. Uh. So you just use your collection hobby. Keep at a distance. Don't get too close. Use throw. No problem. This is a concept of the devil. Some don't know how to handle out of fear, no? So they keep, oh, you're dangerous. My father suffered, I don't want to suffer like him. Ah. So finally, there is no oneness. There is no what God intended to kill your loneliness, no? To bring somebody into your life. And the beautiful thing is, ladies, the wonderful thing in Peter says, ladies, you can, won you can win your husband through your nice conversation. What is the sweet conversation? It's not the con job. I'm talking about the sweet means water. Huh? I tell you, people want to be with people who can give them companionship. Talk, 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 like my friend. But I tell you, that's why talk, talk, talk means no nagging. Huh? Ah, because the Bible talk, talk, talk. Hey, you this, you like this, you like this, you like this, you like this. The fellow dies sooner. Huh? Uh. Non-stop nonsense. Huh? Always ch -ch -ch -ch. Not that. But talk nice, talk sweet, talk friendly. And the Bible, I want to tell you, my friend, you must learn these things. It's so sad in this world. Some of the girls wanted to work. They, they know how to come up and like, good, my friend. You learn even to fly aeroplane, all good. But the main thing is, no, uh, it's good, nothing wrong. Uh, do everything. But the basic thing, what only you can do, no, if you don't know, no, then somebody is going to do that. And finally, what happens is, you just got married, but another woman seems to possess the guy. You not only should marry, but possess him 100%. How to possess, huh? Are you... Ah, yes, man. You must possess. When I say possess, I tell you the devil is going around possessing everybody. But we must possess what belongs to us, our own possession. Ah. So I always tell, no, what you can do, no, others can't do. Do that. We must ask. And the conversation, talk. 